Welcome to the Michigan Runner Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Things that, that it covers from, from the world records to, uh, to fitness and weight management and everything else. So there's lots that I could probably say about Andy Burfoot, but we'll let him say it himself. Thanks, Andy. Thank I'm not a very good podium person, so I'm going to try and pull up a table and get closer to you guys, and really I just want to be bigger in Art's frame there. <laughs> uh, a couple of quick unsolicited endorsements. Uh, uh, Lisa and I sp spoke for a long time to get today when she picked me up at the airport, which was terrific, and uh, if I were taking a beginning running class, I'd take it from her. And as far as Team and Training uh, goes, Runner's World has had a long relationship with Team and Training. When the organization first got started, we were a little bit skeptical. We didn't think anybody but us knew anything about how to prepare for a marathon. We were worried that they'd screw up, and the reason we were worried was because we had given them our name in a, in a sort of a partnership. In my opinion, the reason they'd been so successful is because they've gone to people like Randy Stepp and um, we're pretty excited. We've just signed up to sponsor the Bayshore Marathon for three years uh, with Running Fit, and uh, hopefully, you know, you've really supported us well. And uh, the store is, is doing very well in a shaky economy. And retail is not a to get rich slow deal, um, but it, but things are going okay for us, and, and we're happy to be able to give something back to Traverse City and sponsor it. Uh, I want to thank Dave and everyone for inviting me uh, here today. Uh, it's, uh, I don't get out that often anymore. The reason is, if I did, I'd be working seven day weeks. You know, you work for five days, one of the races on weekends, you work a couple more days, you gotta be back in the office uh, on Monday. But uh, I wanted to come here because so many people had told me that Traverse City was such a great place to go and the stories would go on and on and I had friends and people who visited and everything. And then all of a sudden, They'd stop and say, but wait a minute, when are you going? You should be going in the summer. <laughs> what are you doing going in January? Well, the reason I'm here is because Dave told me this is the Cherry Festival race. <laughs> Being from down south, we're kind of gullible. I thought, well, maybe this is the, the festival time for cherries. I don't know when cherries ripen, harvest. So uh, uh, I'm happy to be here nonetheless. Uh, Dave took me out for a nice run this afternoon. I think he was trying to get me tired out so he could beat a Boston Marathon winner tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, then he took me up and down the Bayshore uh, Marathon uh, course uh, as if he was going to be successful at luring me back for that race later in the year. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but uh, it's really neat to be here. The, actually, the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in is that it isn't colder, because as I've told several people, I have a colleague uh, from the office, a woman of about my age, who's up in International Falls this weekend at the Freeze Year Gizzard Blizzard Run, or whatever they call it up there. Now, we were having one of these office sort of jousting matches where we were kidding each other about who was going to run in colder temperatures uh, this weekend. Uh, and unless you guys come up with some good stuff tonight, I think she's going to beat us by 10 or 15 degrees. <laughs> Hi, uh, this is Jenny McCafferty for the Michigan Runner here with George Kuhn. We're at the frozen foot race here in Traverse City. It's 14 degrees this morning, perfect for a frozen foot race. George, you're helping out with this race. You've been a member of the Traverse City Track Club for quite a while? Yes, we started it back in 1962. So couple of guys and I, so we've been at it for quite a while. So you were one of the founders of this club then? Yes. This club puts on some pretty important races, including the Bayshore Marathon. Yeah, we think so. Yeah? yeah. And um, you were also associated with the Vossett Trail Run, I believe. Yes, I, I'm race director for the Vossett Trail Run. I'm also involved, involved with the Vossett Ski Race, oh, okay. which comes up in two weeks. And what do you do with the Vossett Ski Race? Uh, registration. I used to be a race manager for it, but somebody else has taken the job. Okay. Do you, do you ever race those races? I race, I race the ski race every one of them. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs>
wind it was a great day Amby passed me with a half mile to go and uh, and he was talking to the cops and I was doing everything I could to, to keep from puking so <laughs> I'm always disappointed that my colleague up in International Falls I heard it was minus 15 up there this morning yeah. that's why I'm disappointed in the Michigan weather <laughs> I wanted to run in a colder place than she was in we had, we had to try to get Amby or something from Runners World and you guys up to the Keywood Art Trail Festival next July three races in a day and a half including a, uh, a, a you start on the beach at the tip of the Keweenaw and you end up at the highest mountain on the, on the peninsula. It's probably 50 uh, degrees. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it if you get to swim afterwards. You get to swim. Uh, okay. if, you can, if, you can, if you can handle it. I can it's handle it. it. Clean as nice as water, about okay. 30, no, it's probably 50 degrees in the summer. <laughs> In the spring of this year, we, the Runner's World editors, decided to celebrate all the reasons why we love running. We gathered for 30 minutes in our conference room, surrounded by giant autographed posters of the great ones, Roger Bannister and Carl Lewis and Greta Weiss and Joan Samuelson and many others. And we let our thoughts tumble out. All told, we came up with more than 200 reasons why we love running, and we were still going strong at the finish line. Here we give you the distilled list, the essence. We hope you'll find the list inspiring and, and motivating, because now more than ever, running can help you affirm the key values in your life.